hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to insert select option values into a database so guys that is nothing but your drop down values so let's get started with it so first you need to create a form so let's move to our editor and here guys so i am using a bootstrap to use this user interface design so let's create that let's create a form where form action and then inside this we are going to pass that method is equal to post and then form group and then label label which will be name let's pass type which will name is equal to where i'm going to call the name field and give a class is equal to form control done and then let's copy again now let's make this as gender value over here and instead of input box we are going to select select box select option where we'll remove this id and make it to form hyphen control and use this over here option value so this option you are going to tell over here select gender copy and paste again over here you are going to tell that it's a male column so let's copy and paste over here and then again for the second you will tell female copy and paste that's it and now let's create one simple button so let me just copy with this paste copy and paste create a button b o t t o n button dot button dot oops dot primary p r a m i r y where save select box let me just mention this shortcut let's create this type which will be submit and the name of this button we are going to give save underscore select now let's copy this and move to code.php with the help of post method by taking all this input attribute of name values inside this so let's give a name over here which will be gender that's it now let's copy and move to code.php let's create a if condition over here need to pass this and let's check that button is clicked or not so you can check with the is set function with the dollar underscore post so if the button is clicked you will be inside this if condition so what you are going to take from form that is name and dollar underscore post of your name so what name you are going to take that input field name so this is the name and then your gender values so this two options you are going to call so let me just copy and paste that let's copy this gender also and paste a same variable and this same thing so now we are going to store the gender value into our database so guys now let's create a database for that okay so i have created a database and the table also is there let me insert a column with the gender so let's click on structure and after this i want to add one column go and let's type gender and let's give that value as var char and store that 50 values save let's browse over here and you can find this two columns name and gender so with the name i'm storing that gender value let's get back and let's type the query so let's create a variable called query and inside this you are going to tell the command or statement so let's type insert into table name so my table name is nothing but demo where you are going to insert all the values so from where are you getting the values from your input so let's call these things so before calling and storing over here let's call your column fields copy this and paste inside this done and let's separate them by comma the same thing first is name so you need to copy this name and paste inside a single quote make sure you are giving in a single quote give comma and again 
single quote and pass this gender now guys to run this above query you need to create one more variable and with the help of mysql query function we are going to execute so let me just mysqli underscore query where you are going to pass the first database connection so this is my database connection already given so let's copy this dollar con and pass that and then inside this you have to send your statement or query so once it's executed it will we have to check in if condition so let's give a if condition and dollar query run if it is success let's show the message with the session known as status where you can call this inserted successfully and then get back to same page where I want to go as location called the same page select box select box dot php file let's copy and paste this in a same with the else condition let's give else and paste over here you can just tell not inserted remove this and same you are going to fetch this so if you're using this session make sure you have started the session over here and same session you have to apply in this page also to view that status of your session let me just close this php and let's code that over here to show the message so i have already done that let me just paste it done and now guys this is a simple way how to show the message using session let's get back and you let's check once so value is inserted over here and the name field is there gender is there and this is a submit button to save that so guys, now let's execute this let's get back let's refresh so this is our form you can see okay so button is not designed let's design that button primary spelling mistake save that refresh you can see it cool so guys, now let's insert this data let's give with prakash n and gender will be male and let's click on save select box save inserted successfully you have got the message let's see data is inserted or not let's click on it cool so your mail data is saved over here your select box data also so guys let's try with another one which will be um menu and you are going to select the female version and then save data inserted successfully so let's go over here and see that data of your female so guys you can see that female data also inserted so guys in this video that's it we have completed about how to insert the select box option and thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share